Assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel code city in today's video we are going to see that how can we implement shared preferences in flutter but before I start I would like to tell you that this is my facebook group so if you haven't joined this group yet then please go and join this you can find the link in the description and also if you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so let's start our topic so first let's talk about what is shared preferences well shared preferences is used for storing data locally in a device in a key value pair that means data is not stored in a backend servers but it is stored on your physical device in a form of key value pair now let's talk about when we use this well, shared preferences is commonly used to store user preferred settings. What does that mean? Well, suppose your app contains two themes, that is light theme and a dark theme. So you provide an option to a user to select any one of them. So that means it's up to user to decide that which theme he or she will like to use. So if user selects dark theme, so that info or data will be stored locally in user device with the help of shared preferences. Now if user close the app or even if the app is stopped or restarted or even if the device is rebooted, then this info or data will not lose unless user deletes the application or clear the app data through app settings. Well, one thing I would like to mention there is always use shared preferences for a small amount of data. Do not use shared preferences for complex data. For that, we have other methods like SQLite or Hive database. I will make a video on these two as well. But for now, let's focus on shared preferences. Now let's see how we use shared preferences in Flutter. So let's dive into the code. So as you all see that I already created a simple layout for today's topic. So what I'm gonna do here is I just simply write anything on my this text field and when I click this save button then this note will be saved locally in my device. And when I tap this view notes button then this will navigate me to a new screen and on that screen uh, I will see my previously saved notes. So that's the work that we are going to do in our today's topic. So to use shared preferences, Flutter provides us a package called shared underscore preferences. So to install this package, just go to the installing tab and copy this command. And then run this command in your terminal. Now to use shared preferences, import the class called shared preferences dot dart. So let's import this import shared preferences and shared preferences dot dart now we are going to create a method and this method will take this text field value and then store this value in our local device with the help of shared preferences so let's create a method future void set nodes data and this will require the parameter node value now in that method create a variable for shared preferences final shared preferences is equal to shared preferences dot get instance and well if i go to that get instance method well this will return me the future of shared preferences so we have to give a wait keyword there and async keyword there now after that we are going to set this note value in our shared preferences so let's do that pref dot set well, if you see there that shared preferences is provide us uh, multiple methods for multiple data types. 
so if you see the first one is the set bool well this is for the boolean data types the second one is the double and the third one is for the integers uh, but in our case this text field contains a text value that means a string value so we are going to use set string method there so set string so as you see that the set string method requires a key and a value so the key that I'm gonna give here is note data and the value will be this note value now we are going to call this method in the on press method of this safe button so let's call this method and this will require a parameter and the uh, the parameter will be this notes controller dot text now as I told you before that we are going to display this note value in our this view notes screen so for that go to the notes list screen dot dart file now in that file we are going to create a method uh, to get the data that we just save in our local device with the help of shared preferences so let's create a method void get notes and in that method first we have to create a variable of shared preferences final shared preferences pref is equal to shared preferences dot get instance and this will return me the future of shared preferences so just put a wait keyword there and async keyword there now we are going to get the value so for that just write pref dot get so to get the value from shared preferences well for this shared preferences is provide us a method for each data type for boolean double and integer and as you see before that we are stored our this text field value with the help of set string method uh, in shared preferences so to get that value we are going to call this get string method and in that method we are just pass the key that we gives there when we set uh, our data in shared preferences so to get this note value we are going to pass this key in our get string method now after that create a string variable string note value and save this uh, string value in that variable now replace this text value with our this note value variable now call set state method there and the last thing that we are going to do is we are going to check if this note value is null then we are going to show a text message that no note is available so let's do this note value is equal to null then we are going to show a text message no notes available else just show the notes now we are going to call this get notes method in our init state method now just hot restart the application so now if I write anything in my notes text field and then click this save button and after that if I click this view notes button then this is the note that I just created uh, from that text field so that is the way to store data uh, in your local device with the help of shared preferences if you have any query related to this you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask any query related to flutter on my facebook group you can find the link of that group in the description section so that's it for today's video if you like this video then please share this and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you